It's not an Aldwin video without Riz. Let's do it. Should do it here, baby. Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy EDP445 without the P because I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> Thank you so much for the... Man, I, this is gonna sound like I'm beating a dead horse at this point, but thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you for everything. It's been great. Let's move on to this video. What are we doing today? We're gonna be celebrating a little bit. I'm gonna head to Walmart real quick after this because uh, I gotta grab a fire pit for the patio in the apartment. We'll just go from there. We got boxing, we got some other stuff going on too, but we'll get there, all right? But before that... I can't lie to you guys, I'm a little bit addicted to rotisserie chicken. A little bit is an understatement. Since I'm going to Walmart later, I'm going to be buying another thing of rotisserie. The good thing about this is, is right, hold on. The greatest thing about this right now, whenever I buy rotisserie chicken, it lasts for like three days. And it's five dollars. I don't know what kind of magic sorcery that they do to make it five dollars, but it's it tastes delicious. And also I got the little horn. The thing that completes this is this sauce called Manka Mas. My addiction for rotisserie chicken can't be stopped, all right? I go through phases, so I'm probably gonna be sick of this in like about a month or so, but you know what? We'll enjoy it while it lasts, okay? Walmart! Walmart! Oh man, I might actually have some issues. It's all good though. I think us all YouTubers have issues, you know what I mean? We make videos for random people online, bro. If someone told me like 15 years ago that like the biggest thing in the world would be making content for random people online, I probably would not believe you. Anyway, that's my little ramble for today. So, Walmart right now. Walmart! Done with training now. Abs hurting. Legs twitching. No ditty. Legs shaking big time. Done with training now. I'm gonna be doing some other stuff. But before that, we gotta go home first, just really quickly. Today's training session was definitely tiring. I'll say that. And I feel musty as hell right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Your boy's stinking up this car, all right? That's the stench of hard work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boys, actually, so this is something that I actually wanted to update you guys about. It's about the shield shoot, okay? For those of you that are new here, I... Well, let's let's kind of step it back a little bit. For those of you that are absolutely new here, uh, I'm a model. One of my gigs that I just did was for Shields. Shields back to school. I modeled some of their clothing for, you know, like the back to school season, obviously. We did a commercial. So another thing that you guys should know, one of the customers at the daycare, he is actually part of corporate. I asked him what he does and like just the specifications of his like job or whatever. He buys the products. He buys the brands. He buys like the supplies for Shields. You know what I'm saying? Corporate stuff, I guess. So the way I found out, by the way, is because like he literally came to the shop all of a sudden. He's like, you also don't as a shields model too and i'm like how did you know and then you know I, I find out but that day i asked him i was like hey can i see some previews i'm just curious and everything you know today he gave me the previews your boy's gonna be on the little magazine and i'm also gonna be on the website i'm also gonna be on their commercial all that kind of stuff so the only previews that i got was the is it the magazine newsletter kind of like that whenever i get the actual print of it or if i find one at shields or something if they don't mail it to us because they're they, they're supposed to mail it however i do it i will show you guys all right i, I will We'll be able to get it for you guys. July 27th, I believe, is when everything's getting printed out. So everything's getting sent. I just got a preview of it because I asked and I have connections, I guess. As soon as that date hits, I'm going to be actively searching for any magazines or anything related to back to school because if it's related to back to school, your boy's face is going to be on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm very excited. I'm about to get paid by them too. Everything's looking quite, quite good. Be ready. That's all I'm saying. Be ready. Be ready for some exciting, exciting posts about the shield stuff. So. All right, real quick. Got to take these chairs, all right? And home time. I can't lie. I love me a little bit of Pink Panthers, but Ice Spice definitely carried. I'll say that. He said that I'm good enough. Got my third I think about shit that I shouldn't have. <laughs> this for the nerds out there, right? Oh. Uh. I came to dig, 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 dig to ease the burden of this task. Yeah, I shoot my arrows in the ass sometimes. Creepers kill. You know what? I just got an idea. It's not an Aldwin video without Riz. Let's do it. What you doing here, baby? Ah! I can't believe this video is gonna be all about rotisserie chicken, but you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. In the Aldwin channel, we ne you, you never know what kind of content you're gonna get. I can assure you it's quality content, but I can't assure you that it's gonna be... <laughs> 
important. How many apps do you really got? I mean, it's too many options. Been a pass on this body of John Stockton. Beat your ass and not the Bible of God watching. Sometimes I gotta pop out and show. Pierce, say it for me, thank you. Wait, you bitch, and talk to him, me and love. Just make sure you had your little sister friend. Fuck, I got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified level boy, certified. Say it. Still got some leftovers right here, but as I mentioned, today's video is gonna be about rotisserie chicken for some reason. I Oh my god, man. Oh. oh. Ooh. 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 Last time I got a rotisserie chicken, this was actually the only option that they had. The lemon pepper. Now, this is the traditional, so it should taste a little different. This piece of magnificent meat right here costs about $5.99. If you go to the deli section, you will be exposed to some greatness. Oh man, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. This is. I gotta finish this lemon pepper first. I briefly mentioned earlier that uh, anything that goes with rotisserie chicken, also known as lechon manok, what it goes with really well is a sauce called mang tomas. It's kind of like a gravy, but I don't really know how to describe the flavor to you guys. It's, it's sweet, it's a little bit salty. You just have to find it, man, I'll be honest with you. I can't really help you guys, but the only thing I can help you is my opinion. My opinion, <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever tried. One of the best things I've ever tried. Now your boy's gonna have a piece of the leg here. Man, look at this juicy piece of thang right here. Mm -mm -mm. So this is the traditional. The one that I tried prior to this is actually the lemon pepper. <laughs> I need to get a thumbnail. Oh man, it's too delicious. It's that delicious where it needs its own thumbnail. In class, do we know how to elevate this flavor? Leave your answers in the comments below. If we said dip it in the monk to must, you're the teacher's pet. Yes, sir. <laughs> And for those of you wondering why I was alone for my birthday and I don't know somewhat kind of concerned and feel bad or whatever I've had this idea for about like a month now and this is exactly how I wanted it to go Just a normal day, but I wanted to set up like a you know little decorations I guess just for the video for the content and stuff for some of you that might be sad <laughs> That might be like oh man He's such a loser or actually genuinely like feeling bad, but like relax. Don't worry about it That's exactly what I wanted because here's a little lesson I guess at the end of the day everyone around you will die Right? That's just facts, no matter what. Even the closest people to you, they will all go eventually. I consider myself very lucky, but like, for some other people, they're less lucky. Because let's say their parents died early, they lost a lot of people around them. Where am I going with this? It's pretty much just to tell you guys that, uh, start learning how to, like, be content being alone. Because at the end of the day, you have people around you. If you have people around you, family, friends, relationships, you know, all that kind of stuff, you're still the one controlling yourself. You're still the one controlling your body and your mind and everything. What I'm trying to get at is like, be content with being alone. Honestly, not even content, be happy being alone. Because with that, when the time does come that people go, or even when the time comes that people go prematurely, if you trained yourself with being content or being happy being by yourself, it'll make everything a lot easier. It'll make you fight for yourself, it'll make you happy within you, and honestly, it'll make you more confident in yourself, right? You learn a lot about yourself, you learn that, hey, Maybe being alone is not so bad. Because nowadays, there's a mentality that um, being alone is scary. And I think that's completely untrue. I think being by yourself is a good thing. Being alone is scary is not just other people saying it. I also thought of that, right? I also thought that, oh, being by myself is scary, being, you know, all that kind of stuff. But honestly, as I, you know, as I grew over time, and especially this year, like, you know, the beginning of this year until now, I've, like, developed a lot of stuff and learned a lot of things. My mind switched completely away from that. And now for the most part, I'm just like, ooh, I like being alone. I like being, you know, just having time for myself, having time for the stuff that I want to do. Of course, there's some times where, you know, I, I do want to be with people. I, I do want to hang out with people. But if it came down to it, 90% of the time, I would want to be by myself. Here's your little talk. All right, back to the rotisserie chicken. <laughs> I did not expect that talk to be that long, man. My bad. Oh, fuck. I didn't get scared. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa excited, this is so cool. All right, guys. One of the things that we were actually working on like for the, this week was looking for campfires. And obviously your boy didn't really want to mess with real like firewood. So we decided to go with the propane one and I think it works just fine. Here we are today to pretty much celebrate everything that has been, you know, a, a success, right? Birthday re really isn't that much of a success because, you know, it happens every year. So one thing to celebrate about is uh, he's got a, what was it? Like a positive record now? Oh yeah. You got a positive record now in boxing. Huge dubs in the chat. What else did we want to celebrate? I guess fourth tomorrow. The fourth tomorrow? Abs that's literally, yeah, I forgot. This is what we got. And uh, we may engage in a little bit of libation. Go ahead and get started. Uh, do you have any message for the for the people, Marty? Look at that bottle back there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> $54, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know tequila was that crazy. But we're gonna have a good time anyway. What are we doing? All right, guys, we all take one. Come on, son. 
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Were you not ready for it? <laughs> no, I wasn't mentally prepared for that. I feel like I've been humbled. <laughs> there are notes of a smooth vanilla finish. It ain't smooth, bro, let me tell you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this man grinds. This huh? man, that's great. Bro sipped it late. He's like, oh nice. <laughs> I'm that guy. <laughs> I might have to like take a little bit of what I just put in my mouth. Just, you know, like, I need my right hand. You brought that. Something light, no reaction, no reaction, no reaction, no, re no reaction, no reaction, come on, yeah? I'm good. There, see? As we all know, there's nothing wrong with celebrating a little bit. Even though I said yesterday the job's not done, I'm still gonna celebrate nonetheless, alright? I got invited to it and I'm like, why not? So, bottoms up. What? <laughs> oh my god. That was way more than a shot. You took more than him. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. Oh shit. <laughs> what did extra credit, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that! Don't say that! That was in honor of the big man himself in the- uh, in the- in the- uh, He's already drunk. Can, bro, can you speak? Behind the camera is what I was trying to say. Cause he's Mexican. Get it? Tequila? Yeah, kill yourself. <laughs> On to the next part. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so Christian recommended me. He recommended me that I should edit this video ASAP just so- Like I said, we're- we're, in, we're engaging in a little bit of a libation. <sighs> bro, god. I think it's the best idea to just end the video right before we start getting really crazy. You know what I'm saying? So to end the night off, hope you guys have had a had a great night so far. To end the night off, we're gonna be doing two things. One. Whoa. Oh, hit him. Perfect. Ooh, what is this guy doing, bro? Ooh, ooh. He's busy. I respect it. Now, the second thing that I wanted to do today, like I said, it's a celebration. Mom, remember this, all right? I don't do this often. Remember the last time that I did a cigar was in your presence. Don't worry about it. Now, let's go out to the let's go out to the campfire here. It's literally lit. No one's around there, but... You know. Marty, let's have a seat. Chris, you have a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a great time. Chris, if you post this on your story, let the... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I'll probably record some of the stuff that we that you know we're doing, but that's gonna be in tomorrow's vlog. In this vlog, we're gonna be ending the night off with a nice cigar. Uh, I will say that's a badass way to do it. Of course. One second, guys. Let me. I'll, I'll be right back with something good. What goes around comes around. So we started the vlog off with a rotisserie chicken. We're gonna end the night off with a rotisserie chicken. Yes, sir. You boys on the the, the little Andrew Tate stuff. You know what I'm saying? Rotisserie chicken. A nice cigar. It's a perfect way to end the night. And Christian's got some Papa John's coming in too. So it's just gonna be a good day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It wasn't the most interesting vlog, but you know what? Not every single video is gonna be interesting. As I mentioned, genuinely, thank you guys so much for like the, the support, man. You guys have been absolutely amazing with it. So we're just gonna be celebrating it. Oh God, that was quick. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm not gonna do a full outro because that's AJ's thing. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And Chris, do you have anything else to say to the... Stay hard. <laughs> <laughs>